Welcome to Breaking Boosters. Stay a while as I open packs of magic cards using voices and characters from my Dungeons & Dragons sessions. If you like what I do, please visit my online store where I sell easy-to-play popper DH decks made using cards from my very own collection. Or consider joining my Patreon where I will give away one popper EDH deck every month. Also follow me on other social media such as Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with the channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. With all that out of the way, let's go! Today's video is brought to you by Cytex Gaming, located on Grant Road in Northwest Houston. A hop, skip, and jump away from Highway 249. Cytex Gaming caters to the TCG player by providing a wide selection of singles for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! You can play MTG Commander events every Wednesday at 6pm and Friday at 7pm. Pioneer on Tuesdays and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! on Saturdays. Welcome. Today we're going to be opening up a pack and then a booster box of Theros Beyond Death. Hoping for those awesome gods and those crazy alternate arts. So let's get started with the first pack. Human, Mountain, Lure of the Unknown. And we're hoping for some demigods here in the uncommon spot. And the almond cycle is quite nice. How'd you do in your pre-release? Did you do okay? I did not. My my pool was garbage. Second pack, we have a goat, a swamp, and a tectonic titan. Alternate art, Caliphate, Triumph of Annex, and Seagon Scorn. Not a great way to start a box, but not the worst either. These are the Japanese packs, if you couldn't tell, and that's why they are in the order that they are. We have an Ad, we have an Island, we have an Infuriate as our foil, and an Idyllic Tutor, a super sweet reprint. Nissen the Horn Beetle, the Binding of the Titans, and a Stinging Lionfish. Then we're going to move on to the next pack. I mixed them up a bit, so I'm opening them at random, basically. Let me know in the comments below how you did on your pre-release night. What were your pulls? Did you get anything good? Nightmare. That is a gruesome looking token. Planes. Accolade of Affliction. And Nyx Lotus. Super sweet. Slaughter Priest of Modius. And... Trancing Liar and Alice Side of Life's Bounty. And then the rest is commons. Moving on to the next pack. These Japanese packs are full of air. Always. Always full of air. Starting off with a wolf token. Moving on to planes and Gravebreaker Lama. Lamia. Lamia. Lifelink. Enters the battlefield, search your card for your library for a card. Put that card in your break, your graveyard, and then shop your library. I do believe that's in tune. But that last ability, spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less to cast. That is sweet for my favorite deck of Tesa Karlov. And Mirror Shield is our last common. Uncommon. We have, uh, I do believe, 30 more packs to go. And we're going to start with an island. And then Edelon of Obstruction. Because those Planeswalker Atraxas decks, they need something to, you know, rein them in. Heroes of the Revel, Sea God's Scorn, and Phalanx Tactics. And more comments. What'd you get in your prize packs if you actually did pretty well on your 
pre-release. Anything good there? We're gonna start off with a human soldier. A mountain. And then we're going right into Dream Trawler. Sphinx flying. Whenever you draw a card, this guy gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. When it attacks, draw a card. And when you discard a card, it activated ability that you can do at instant speed. It gains hexproof until end of turn, and then you tap it. We go with Vanishing Light. Destiny Spinner and Underworld Fires. Is anyone interested in the comments? I don't think so. But you people are out there, I'm sure. Ah, uh, you know who is? Popper players. And there's some good commons for popper players. Alright, Zombie, Planes, and Thassa's Oracle. The one that even CEDH players are worried about. Githios' Design, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and Reverend Hobbleite. With an elemental token, a swamp, and then Phoenix of Ash, flying haste. Phoenix of Ash gets plus two plus zero until end of turn when you pay two in a red. And of course, it has an escape cost because it's a Phoenix. Impending Doom, that art is killer. Build of Ruin, sweet reprint, and cling to dust. So far, no mythics. No foil rares or mythics. So let's hope that's that's where the spicy is. Alright, oh, human soldier. The swamp. Helioid's intervention. I think this one's actually quite good as far as white cards go. Archon of the Falling Stars. This one will be going to my Tesa Karlov deck with Animate Dead or Reanimate. Meyer Triton. And then Field of Ruin. Lots of Fields of Ruin. That's good though, that card needed a reprint. Moving on to the next pack. We have an ad. An island. Nylea Kenine, our first mythic. Staggering Insight. Dream Shaper Shaman, and Cling to Dust. This one seems alright. In a aura based build. On to the next pack. Because we're all interested in those rares and mythics, right? Seder. Swamp. Incendiary Oracle. And then Storm Herald. Rise to Glory. Blood Aspirant. And Whirlwind Denial. They've been pushing the power level in these sets, haven't they? Yes, they have. Rhetorical question. For the Oracle. Moving on. Forest. Temeret calls the dead. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was locusts. Not locusts. Cicadas. Daxos, blessed by the sun. Alternate art. Triumph of Annex. And Madama's Prophecy. Moving on. Human Soldier. Planes. Dryad of the Ilson Grove, Spicy, Caliphate of the Beloved Sea, Chain Whip, Urkaneer, and then Agonizing Remorse, that art, oof, Story Spotlight card, the sharp memory of Daxos' death stabbed into Elspeth's soul. On to the next pack. Seder, Forest, Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Minus one, 
as you can see, only minus abilities. Up to two target creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Negative two, create two one one white human soldier creature tokens. Negative three, you gain five life. Shimmering, Shimmerwing Chimera, Inevitable End, and Birth of Melatites. Next pack. Human, Forest, and Erebos' Intervention, Wolf, Willowhaven, They're Naughty, They're Naughty, Singer, and Favored by Eros. Oh, how the cards fall. We have another goat. To start this pack off, an island, and Galia of the Endless Dance, Siona, Captain of the Plays, Pilees, Skofos, Maze Warden, and Glimpse of Freedom. I think we're getting close to halfway through the box. This pack starts us off with a tentacle. Oh boy. Swamp. And a foil starlit mantle. And our rare is this harpy. I, I have nothing to say on this harpy. Temerit chosen from death. This will end up leading a pauper EDH deck. Furious Rise and Hateful Elon. Next pack, come on Perforos, come on Thassa, where are you? Start with an ad, then we're gonna go with a forest, then Shatter the Sky, Dreamstalker Manticore, Stinging Limefish, and the Binding of the Titans. Next pack, the glorious pack. Be a hero. Reflection token. Island. Eat to extinction. And that card's art. Oh boy. NX, Harden of the Forge. Acolyte of Affliction. Sage of Mysteries. And the next pack, what does it bring us? Another human soldier? A plains, enemy of enlightenment. And then, the door kraken. Devourer of memory, Nissen wanderer, and helioid's punishment. The flavor, right, the flavor. Atlas, ya old dog. off with a human soldier token. Get over there. Mountain. And then Anex. Harden the Forge. Foil. And then Protein. Thrumatarge. Enticing Liar. Renata. Call to the Hunt. And Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern I think is going to be a decent card in EDH. It's going to be alright. Little graveyard hurt, never hurt anyone. Human soldiers, where we start this pack. And then a force. And then Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, is our third mythic. Escape Velocity, Farika Spawn, and Laguna Band Storyteller. On to the next pack. We are more than halfway through this box. And the mythics have been not terrible, not the best. This pack is going to start off with a satyr token and a plains, 
and a foil, Lamb Pads of Death's Vigil. And then a Temple of Abandon, followed by a Slaughter Priest of Mojus and an Archon of Falling Stars, and then a Side of Life's Bounty to finish it off. Moving on next. So much air in these packs, it's like opening up a bag of chips. A goat token, an island, a foil forest, and then Hactos the Unscarred, followed by Siona, Captain of the Plays, and then Elros, Enraptured, and then Minions Returned. Lots of legendary creatures in that pack. Uh, this pack's being a little bit more difficult. No one wants to bend their cards in pack, do they? No, of course not. So a few seconds extra opening a pack. I don't mind. Starting off with an ad, and then moving quickly to a mountain, and then to the, probably the strongest red card in this set, Underworld Breach. Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal to the converted mana cost, plus three exiled other cards from your graveyard. At the beginning of each instep, sacrifice Underworld Breach. Then moving on to a Sesten Practitioner, Careless Celebrant, and then Underworld Dreams. Very, very nice reprint here. Then the next pack, Human Soldier. Then we're, mo Ooh, we're moving on to Forest. Tamarat Chosen from Death. And then a foil. Oh, alternate art. Calyx, Destiny's Hand. Planeswalker. Plus one. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an enchantment from among them. Put that card in your hand and the rest into the bottom of your library in any order. Negative three. Target. Exile target creature enchantment card you don't control until target enchantment con you control leaves the battlefield. Basically, O Ring. Return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield for the negative seven. Then we move on to Mystic Reveal. Hydra's Growth in Animar. Oof. And then one with the stars. Next pack. Maybe. If you just open up. Starting off with a mountain, glory bearers, temple of deceit. And it's about to be tapped, and it does. Scry one, Dexos blessed by the sun, Nyx herald, and commanding presence. Eight more packs to go. Moving on, Human Soldier, Forest, and the Magnetic Incarnation, Shimmering Chimera, Glimpse of Freedom, and the Birth of Militus. Next pack. This set started off pretty weak in my mind and then grew quite strong as previews continued. Seder, Plains, Temple Thief, Erebus, Blackhearted, Rise to Glory, Dreamstalker Manticore, and Soul Guide Lantern. Six more packs. I see towards the end of this box, it got much better. But there might be spice left. Human Soldier. Swamp. Ah, a little bit more spice. Stessen Champion. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on this champion and draw a card. Your Trephoria, the twice favored. Mischievous Chimera. And then Dawn Evangel.
Pack number five to the bottom. We start with a Satyr token. Quickly moving to a mountain. And then Artis, Oracle of Truths. Followed by Hero of Nyxborn. Then an Elspeth's Nightmare. The art is amazing for this card, let's be honest. And then we have Shoal Kraken. And then Unknown Shores. T minus four. Packs to go. Starting with a wolf. Look, it's Okami. Forest. Temple of Enlightenment. Renata, Call of the Hunt. Impending Doom and Underworld Fires. Pack three. And we start with another Seder token. A mountain. The Akronan War. Paris Ban Brawler. Phalanx Tactics. Uh, Domames. Madamos. Madamas. Prophecy. And Nixborn Brute. Second to last pack. Come on, Thassa. Where you be? Old girl. More difficult to open as we get down to the bottom. Starting off with a wall token. Moving quickly to a plains. And then Labyrinth of Skophos. A really expensive maze of it. Warden of the Chained. Drag into the Underworld. And then Sweet Oblivion. Last pack. Foil Thassa. Maybe. maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out together. Seder. Swamp. Kithios, God of Destiny Foil. Super sweet. And then Delacos, Crafter of Wanderers. Thundering Chariot. Enemy of Enlightenment. And Hero of the Winds. And that's a booster box of Theros Beyond Death. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed opening these packs. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye. Today's video was brought to you by Cytex Gaming, located on Grant Road in Northwest Houston. A hop, skip, and jump away from Highway 249. Cytex Gaming caters to the TCG player by providing a wide selection of singles for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! You can play MTG Commander events every Wednesday at 6pm and Friday at 7pm. Pioneer on Tuesdays and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! on Saturdays. Thank you for watching my video. I enjoy making these videos, and you all make it possible. Please visit my Patreon, my online store, and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch. Links for all that will be in the description below. And while you're down there, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification buttons. See you next time.